Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask PYS. So we've got a fellow boater uh, named Chris, and Chris asks a pretty good question. Um, he says, Jeff, I've got a question regarding terminal strips. A terminal strip is, uh, by the way, something like this. So a lot of us are going to have these sort of devices on our boats. Uh, they can be, you know, like this one is just two, right? Because there's only two connection points. Some of them are 10, 12, 8, it doesn't matter. This is what's called a terminal strip. And there's a lot of that on our boats. It's a way for us to join wires together without a butt connector, okay? A lot of builders are putting them on board boats and they're quite useful. And he asks the follow questions. I often see images of wiring panels where there are two rows of terminal strips where each incoming wire attaches. Then a second wire goes to the breaker, etc. What's the purpose of a terminal strip, this device here? Why not lead the wires directly to the panel and forego this terminal strip? Great question. Why indeed? Why indeed? Well, there's a good reason. Um, the reason, and I actually did that on my own boat. So I have a Catalina, and my panel uh, had all the loads connected directly to it. But as some of you know, I'm in my iteration number five or six of rewiring my boat. It's never perfect, but I'm getting there. Eventually, I'll be ready to release it. And one of the things I did years ago was actually doing exactly what you were asking about, Chris. And the reason why I installed these terminal strips on my boat and I didn't have loads directly connected to my breakers is because when I was actually rewiring my panel, I wanted it to be completely organized. Why organized? Why does that matter? Chaos is normal. Order isn't. So the first thing you learn as an electrician when you're on board a boat, you're looking for anything that's out of place because you know that order isn't natural. A wire is not gonna normally fall in place and be perfectly routed and looking neat. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanted to be able to look at my panel and I wanna be able to, at a glance say, hey, listen, this looks clean, everything's in the right place because if something's out of place, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. So then what I decided is I ran all the wires from the panel to basically these terminal strips. All of it, in a nice, nice bundle. And as I'm adding or changing wiring, I'm never redoing the bundle or the wiring from the terminal strips to the panel. The only wiring I'm doing is I'm wiring my, all my loads to these terminal strips, but they're not going all the way to the panel. A lot of builders are doing that too because now you can actually have an interconnection point, right? And you don't have to join any wires. So you can install your panel, you can do your nice bundle, you can bring it to a terminal strip, and then you can start bringing all your loads to the terminal strip. So it becomes a very modular way of doing electrical wiring. And a lot of the high-end builders are all doing this. I did it on my own boat. And for troubleshooting, now you start, instead of having a butt connector, now you're able to actually measure voltage at all these points. I do the same thing, for example, for my navigation lights. Wherever I can hide one of these, and you can buy these in different amperages, some are 20 amps, 30 amps, and 60 amps, I'm putting them everywhere through the boat. Whoever one day might own Satori is gonna find these terminal strips everywhere. And the reason I do that is a way to easily troubleshoot. And instead of doing a butt connector and not hoping that my connection was great, when I do two ring terminals on either side, let's say right here and here, coming one coming from this side and the other one coming from this side, I can inspect the connection point. And that inspection is a key to know if you have a good connection. Hence why you wanna use terminal strips everywhere on a boat. It helps for troubleshooting, it helps for changes, and it keeps your wiring super clean and organized. And that makes your life as a boater easier when you need to troubleshoot a problem. So, great question, Chris, thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.